Hello, everybody, and welcome to Clean Fall. I'm Heron Steinbear. Let's jump in to this tower defense roguelike, roguelite, sorry, and try out the demo to see what it's all about. The paperclip maximizer problem, a thought experiment demonstrating how a super intelligent AI, even if designed without malice, could ultimately destroy humanity through the endless and unalterable production of paperclips. But what if a super intelligent AI did not want to make paperclips, but rather clean? And what if this AI knew that it had to fix the world in order to keep dust out of its house? What then? Are we an AI? Okay. Give me the fire. Can shoot stuff. All right. Uh, e to interact. Head out the door, I suppose. The art style is very like, don't starve to me. That's a, what immediately what I get from it. Hold left mouse to charge your pulse rifle, release it to propel yourself. Ooh, use a pulse charge to knock back predators or simply left click to kill smaller creatures. Interesting. Right click to mine through dirt. Okay. Nice. Any fall damage? Doesn't seem to be. Press F to activate the pathfinder. Right click to tunnel along the red line. The longer the tunnel, the longer the cooldown. Note the timer in the upper left. Some materials can only be mined with the Pathfinder. Interesting. Okay. Ooh, that was cool. And down here. The world is filled with harvestable items. Press E to harvest. Scroll the mouse wheel to change a current item. Left click on the screen to throw the item towards your cursor. You can organize items by sliding them to different slots. Three pop rocks. Okay, so then... What'd that do? Oh, that did something. I think that's all my pop rocks, though. Oh, my pop rock came back. All right, good to go. Jump back down. Whoa. Okay, definitely no fall damage now. So that's good to know. We have like a death depth meter up here. I really love this art style. And so it begins with a cruel winds blowing endlessly, biting at the lost world, drawing out to the shape of things that were and are and may well be. A strange individual straightens himself at the sight of the cleaning bot, his toothy grin stretching from ear to ear. Can you hear it, little one? History is standing in applause of you, clapping loudly, wildly, its hands flapping faster and faster in acclamation. Giddy with excitement, he turns suddenly, holding an imaginary camera. Let's memorialize the occasion with a picture. He makes a clicking noise, then another, and another, all the while tilting his head and contouring, contorting his face in a series of silly expressions. Can you hear the applause, cleaning bot? It's roaring. The wind continues to howl. After a few more snaps, the figure straightens and turns abruptly, lowering its glasses. Don't be an offense to history. Don't make it stop clapping. Understand? Descend. Descend to the core. Activate the teleporter and do not fail. Don't. Off you go now. Down the pit you go. That's not creepy at all. So that's cool. It's just like a normal interaction that people have, right? Reach 450 depth to go in there, huh? Can I ride this guy? This thing's pretty fucking cool. I want to ride this. How do I ride that? Or do I not? Uh, down we go. Generating depths. Ooh, so all procedurally generated. Pulse rifle, user manual. Pulse rifle only damages small, fragile creatures. Critters, so dismember them with a simple click. It would be rare. Larger creatures suffer no damage. Discerning the difference requires experimentation, so proceed with caution. What do we have here? A small note is stuck to the sign. It's held in place by a single thorn pressed through the thin paper. It reads, deeper is deadlier. Gather resources. Spin wide wisely. Night is coming. Be ready. 
All right, let's jump on down. Uh, this was maybe a mistake. I didn't mean to fall this far. Did not mean to fall that far. I missed a lot of stuff already. All right. Uh, how did I do the... It was an E. I already forgot how to do the... Uh, the auto digger thingy. Thingamabobber. Ooh. I wonder if these plants are actually anything. I can't afford that. You guys friendly? Oh God. Oh God, I'm taking damage. I died. What the hell? Okay, got a light bulb. Oh, there was Pathfinder, it was R. Give me some pop rocks. Kill one guy, kill another guy. There we go, all right, we're getting the hang of it. We're getting the hang of it, what are you? What are you? Oops, I didn't mean to waste my pop rock there. Can I get you or are you for sale? No, you're for sale. I can't afford you. Okay. Well, let's come down here, I guess. I think we're down to one life. Like legitimately down to one life. Ooh. Who's this? A solitary figure sitting by the fire slowly looks up in grim repose. He is has gray about his thick beard and has gray about his wild hair and the red wires of his eyes speak of madness and loss. Sit down already. That stump isn't coming to you, sit. Sparks tumble into the blackness of the, as the fire saws in the cavernous winds. The man stares with his offset eyes, grinning oddly. It's all about the ketchup. You understand? Fistfuls of ketchup and you have to cook them long and hot. Them slender spines. You've seen them, right? Had to have those turd ugly faces with long spindly legs. Get your arm clean off if you get too close, soulless little turds. The man pauses and looks behind him into the darkness and then continues. The meat's gamey, no rightful doubt about that. But if you cook their heads for a full three hours over hot fire and you marinate them and catch them the whole time, I mean, you lather them down real good, they're not half bad. Crunchy, juicy, blood's a sizzler, though. It'll burn all the way down, all the way out. There's nothing but truth to that. The man laughs strangely at his own words. Then he stops and looks over his shoulder again and sits staring for a long time with his hand on a long, large board pistol strapped to his leg. Something stirs in the blackness beyond. He rises and casts a look. We best not linger. Things get real hungry down here and feeding time is coming. Then he slips into the darkness. Uh, oop. I can keyboard. My mouse bumped into the keyboard. How do I see what I got? No, I want to see what I got. I don't know what that did. No. Uh... I don't think it says here. Damn it. All right, well, it is what it is, I guess. I went to hover over the ability there and my mouse bumped into my keyboard and now we're stuck with whatever that was. So, oh, 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 please don't do that. Please don't do that. I don't like that. I don't approve. Oh wait, we have spark fruit. Get out of here. Oh, I died. I think that was my, oh, don't wanna do that. Am I stuck in here? I think I'm stuck in here. There we go, got out that way. Okay, well, I guess let's just continue on downwards. See how far we can go. They're just gonna plummet. We're just gonna plummet. We're not playing a roguelite anymore. We're just plummeting. 494 feet. We are so fucked. 
There's no way we can kill. Eh, what the fuck is that? What the actual fuck is that? All right, so we're not going to go that way. Can we go this? No. Uh, hey, we got plus two drones. That's pretty cool. Can I just like, yeah, I can. Fuck you guys. Are we going to hit a thousand? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Coming back to life in style. Hello, creepy dude. What you doing? Behold the man. Behold the man. His eyes lift upwards, fixing on the dark rafters. The power to bring you back, not just from the deep, but from the grave. He lowers his gaze. You are now like me. The threads of immortality run through you, empowering you, directing you. A father and daughter infused with life eternal. He laughs strangely, his gaze rising again towards the violent haze swimming amongst the rafters. Go on, you have more dying to do. Oh God, talk about creepy. Talk about creepy. Uh, press E to use, what do we get here? Gain a battery gun and a piece of armor. Your pulse rifle comes equipped with a flashlight. Okay, minus 15 energy recharge per minute. Uh, we gain two lives, but minus 25% ghost movement speed. Or gain 12 pock rocks, six quills, and one nuke. Holy shit, but lose movement speed. Uh, I think I will go with resilience, because I'm really bad at this game, apparently. Uh, and then now our goal is to reach 1,500 meters i think it was perhaps meters all right off we go papa if i am in fact your daughter remember you're not powerful not yet so tread carefully certain dentists of the deep may be best left alone it all depends on the arsenal you can gather hello everybody and thank you for watching today's video and being a part of the reason why the Herrenstein Bear channel has grown to over 1,000 subscribers. I truly can't believe that it happened, and I'm so thankful that it has. I can't wait to see what happens with this channel in the future and look forward to all the growth we're going to be seeing and all the new roguelikes I'll get to play. Thanks to all of you out there. So keep on watching, and I'll keep on making videos. And until next time, hope you have a great rest of your day and enjoy the rest of the video. See ya. Uh, gonna want to correct that issue. Large stone circles put on the sides below the bridge. Then another tunnel leads to a section filled with intense scribbles overrun. Uh, can we get over there? Nope. Oh, oh sort of. Is that all that that thing does? Is just levitate us it's supposed to destroy the environment too right all right all right Ooh, this looks like good stuff hey and a chest up there is this anything all these like random plants i keep thinking that they're like are things that I want, you know? And then it appears that they are not. All right, we're opening the chest. Vine wake boots. How do I... Remnant of a once verdant planet, these mystical boots hinder creatures with a trail of lush foliage. Player speed slightly increased. Oh, okay, I see them. They are, in fact, doing that. Interesting. Okay. And then we got some pop rocks and things in there. Can it get through there? I think it can. Yeah. Oops. There we go. Got all of them. Okay. Beautiful. That worked out great. Uh, can't afford. What about whatever this fire thing is? 
Can't afford. I need some drones, man. I had some drones last run. Oh, God. Uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Uh, okay. Uh, can't afford that either. I need three drones there. Are you anything? Can I open you? I can't. A fart pod. I found a fart pod, everybody. You, we can all relax. I found the fart pod. Okay. And come across this way. Hey, there we go. What's this? Plus one life. All right. Not going to turn that down. That's for sure. Got another phone. Okay. Uh, get out of here. I'm going to take your bone. I'm going to take your bone. Get back here. Light bulb. Can't break that. Can't do nothing with that. Okay. If you say so. What are you? Plus 15 energy regeneration. Okay. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. We can come down here and oh, I only have one of these things. Well, at least get that guy one flame turret. Creatures need to reach an internal temperature of one. Oh, yeah, that'll that'll do it. Can I pick it back up? Okay, okay. All right, so it looks like it's a one-time use. Hey, you come here. You, you, come here. Yeah, you, come on. Come on. Come on, come on. There we go. Monster fiber is all we get from them. All right. I don't think I can cross very well. So I'm going to try and just like stay on this side. Oh, wait. Okay. Plus 25% deployable unit health plus 25, 26 max, 28 max energy plus 35% non-consumable damage. Uh, let's go with. Oh, this is what they cost. I don't know if I have any of that. Do I have any? I have nine monster fiber and I don't have any of the other thing. Yeah, so I can't do any of that. Okay. Got him. Got that guy. Ooh, I see a chest over here. Uh, cannot afford Come in here get another life What is this oh, that's another one of those things that doesn't actually do anything grab you Another chest over here Who is that a mine a drone? Oh, those are drones. Okay Cool, so I finally have a couple drones to work with there's that guy. Uh, such a fucking weirdo. If I go in there, am I going to like trigger a thing or are they going to kill me? Okay. As if bound by the hand of destiny, the cleaning bot happens upon the figure she had met at first. He sits hunched forward with the black of dark so thick about him, the fire seems to hiss against it in anger. People called him Hunker Bunker Joe, th thought he was a little, shall we say, off. He prods the coals with a crooked stick. 
thought he had lost his mind for saying the end was coming, for digging out a bunker, for planning. Well, you know what? Wisdom herself was on his side, clicking her tongue at all the fools. He was my great, great, great grandfather, or so I'm told. Never met him naturally, but I've seen pictures, heard stories. Said all the naysayers were scrambling to get underground all at once like a bunch of ants. He was already set, sipping on a drink with his feet up, just watching the chaos on the news. The man stops. Small sparks curl into the blackness. You know what, though? Nobody could have prepared for what lay beneath. That took everyone by full surprise. Everyone thought the biggest problem was what that crazy trillionaire did, moving the planet closer to the sun. But sometimes it ain't what... It ain't what lies about and that is the biggest problem, but what lies beneath. No idea how he made it down there, but he did, and I think he was the only one to ever do it. All right. Uh, spare scrap gives us gun turrets, costs one less fiber, but does minus 20% non-consumable damage. Uh, double jump seems good, but you can only pick from two upgrades at upgrade machines. Plus energy recharge per minute, but we get a minus max energy. Let's go with the double jump. Let's go. Oh, that's sick. I really, really like that double jump. What are you? Plus one ore. Okay. So definitely should be looking for those ores then. Probably need to be digging more than I am, honestly. Kind of still just exploring and finding out what this game even is. It's pretty cool so far, I gotta say. Uh, I love the aesthetic. The uh, gameplay seems intriguing enough to keep me coming back uh, to, to find out more of the story and experience more of the story. Bap. Okay. Uh, the, the mining is cool. The animations and stuff are awesome. The uh, So far, the weapons I've seen seem cool. Okay, I don't think I have anything. Ooh, I do have a bunch of uh, op stones or whatever they're called that I could use to get these guys. There we go, get some monster fiber. Use that to upgrade some stuff somewhere. Get me an ore. Are these guys nice? Oh, fuck me. Uh-oh. What the fuck was that? That thing is fucking scary as shit. I am so glad that that did not see me. Night? Night time? Oh God. What happens at night time? I can't see anything. How long do I have to wait here without being able to see? Uh. Can I like camp out somewhere? They just pay one drone for two drones? No, I'm paying ore for drones. Okay. What do we got here? Cannot a full, oh God. Oh, fuck. They see me. They see me. Run. Let me out of here. Oh, God, it's not recharged. Here it comes. Oh, God, I'm stuck. I'm trapped. No, not you. Oh, God. Oh, God, what is happening? What is happening? Am I safe here? I think I might be safe here. Holy hell. Oh my God, look at all the eyes. They're coming for me. Oh God. 
Sorry, I clicked off the screen. I was so freaked out that they were coming for me like that. Oh god. Okay, it's daytime. Wait, they're still here. No, go away. Go away, leave me alone. I didn't do anything to you. Oh my god. I used so many lives during that. That was intense. Ooh, what's this? What are you? You're a snail. That is adorable. Oh, it's a shop. Okay. Can't afford. Can't afford. Vine wake. I already have those. Uh, and that looks like. Flamethrower. Velocity blade. Flamethrower. I could afford the flamethrower, but it's like temporary. How do I? Is there a way to get it off? Oh, no, 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 no. You can just stay out there, friend. You can just stay out there. No reason to come in here. Oh, my fucking God. This place sucks. Did that take you guys out? Did that kill you? I don't think it did. I don't think it did. Don't know what that's doing. Fart pod. Throw to break open. Am I stuck in here? I may have just soft locked myself by hiding in here from the monsters. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me out. Uh, whoa. Consuming gives energy. Okay. I mean, can I like. I think I'm fucking soft locked in here. Oh, wrong thing. Yeah, I think I'm soft locked. Interesting. All right, well, back to hub. How far do we get? 743, basically exactly the same as what we did last time. Interesting. Interesting. All right, I think we'll give it one more run. See how things go. We've got a little bit better sense. Maybe we try and stay on the left side this time. Generating depths. Hordes grow more deadly with each passing night. Farm resources efficiently. Don't linger too long. The third night is full of death and terror. Fucking first night was full of death and terror. Are you kidding me? Or was that the third night? Maybe that was the third night and I just like didn't realize it. Okay. Okay. There we go. We made it into the first little area here. Uh, so yeah, of course we can't afford that. Let's get ourselves a fart pod. Oh, 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 oh. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, got some ore down here though. You know what? I really should be. Yeah, it's gone now. It's fine. Anything? Don't see anything yet. Uh, ooh, there's some more. Ori fixed. Grab that. Come on down. Yep, get myself a light bulb. Uh, gotta wait three seconds for this to recharge. Bam. Ooh, another one of those firefly guys. Get me some more light bulbs in anticipation of the gnat. 
You know what? Uh, let me... I'll just do there. There we go. We got five of them now. I got five on it. A triple oars for us. All right. All right. Let's make our way down. We've been doing pretty good on mining so far. Can I make it up there? Yes, I fucking can. I'm learning, guys. I'm learning. Okay. Give me some drones and some pop rocks. Okay, so I think this is... Whoa, what the fuck is that? Uh, plus 15 energy regeneration. Uh, I do have some pop rocks, so let's see what happens if I throw them in this guy's face. Ooh, he dropped an ore. Uh, he dropped an ore and left. That's pretty cool. Oh, no, he didn't. All right, this guy had gave me an upgrade last time, so we're going to talk to him again. As soon as the metal maid sits opposite the man, he stares into her eyes and says... Don't know if you've seen them. People call them alphas. They react to digging. They cut right for the sound of it, knowing dinner is served. He works his mouth, then continues. I suppose they call them alphas because they're thought to be alpha predators, kings of the deep. But you know what? They ain't. People don't know what lurks beneath. I've had a taste, and I'm here to tell you they ain't king. There's darker things yet, much darker. And I'll advise you to stay far clear. Mole mode, 20% base mining speed increased, but slower pathfinder cooldown. Uh, plus 80 recharge per minute, but lowered max energy. Uh, ooh, I don't like the light radius going down. With explosive organs, I don't like that downside. Uh, I guess I'll take energy siphon. What is over here? Is there anything over here? I suppose it's procedurally generated, so there's not necessarily something with them. Uh, let's come down. Hey, there we go. We got some ore. We got some ore. All right. Two seconds to go. We can head down this way. Got another open cavern here. Get us some bullets, maybe? Uh, although the bullets... Ooh, there's a chest. An extra flame turret there. Love that. Uh, okay. So. Bulb turret, huh? And another bulb turret. All right, cool. So we're actually getting some good shit now. We've got some weapons to actually deal with threats rather than not deal with threats. All right. Uh, and then I think I will go ahead and shoot uh, that right there. Perfect. All right. Extra drone duration, extra energy recharge, or uh, oh, I can't afford the Pathfinder cooldown. What? What is that resource? What is that resource? Reroll was free. Yeah, I mean, everything requires that. I don't even know what that is. It almost looks like drone, like an upside down drone, but I don't think it is. But that's a bulb turret. Uh, that's the drone. That's right. All right. Yeah. Can't do nothing with that then, I guess. All right. We got to come over the metal thing. Over the metal thing and through the woods. To get the monster parts. Oh, wait. Did it drop monster parts? Or did I already grab them? Uh, I don't know. 
Great question. Great question. What are you doing? What are you doing? Please leave me alone. I said, please leave me alone. It's another flame turret. Don't think we need another one of those. We have the two bulb turrets already. Those might be famous last words. Oh, I know why it's not fucking shooting people because I don't have it selected, you idiot. It's weird that it lets you still dig when you don't have it selected, but it doesn't let you use its like other ability. Hmm. What is that? A nanite egg, huh? Ooh, and there's a chest over there. Come on, let me up. There we go. Don't know what a nanite egg is. I guess I could... Bundle of nanite worms. They love to eat dirt. Oh, God. Bye. This is like a fucking living creature. What? Doesn't seem like it's all that nice to uh, invade this guy's space. eventually gonna get him or is he too big it's hard to tell like what's too big and what's not you know get him get him get him get him get him again get him some more do better oops I didn't mean to spawn another one but I guess I have oh and I lost a life god damn it thank you Oh, 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 oh. Man, they move so freaking fast. Fuck off, bro. Turret lobber. So does it just like, oh God. Continuously shoot turrets forever? If so, this is amazing. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me in this game. Okay, uh, so can I go through this guy's skull? No, I can't. Uh, but it looks like I can come this way. Oh, God. Oh, my fucking Christ. Holy hell, man. do here oh god I don't want to spend night here this doesn't seem good what is this thing okay cool I don't think I can get through this guy am I just like trapped here now I mean, this is probably the best place for me at the moment, if I'm being completely honest. Because I don't think anything can get in here, so I might be actually safe until the daytime. A fucking midnight. Oh, God, this is fucking freaky. Ooh. Oh, no. Still doesn't let me through him. Oh, I see the eyes coming. The eyes are coming. Oh, and they can get through them. Thank you for freeing me. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. I can't see shit. Fuck, man. This game is tough. I definitely am going to have to... Uh, put some more time into this but i mean i made a little bit better progress each time so that's kind of the mark of a good roguelite uh i'm not even sure what to uh what to say about this pit uh what what to say this is it's i mean it's definitely roguelite but uh pit diving road like uh, i don't know 
Uh, light runs across the metallic floor, ducking into the shadows and among the strange columns. Outlined against the dim glow stands the Reaper, his face dark and perturbed. If you at least made it inside of the huffed mounds, I'd be sorely disappointed if you haven't. He raises an eyebrow and str laughs strangely. It's like a little present all wrapped in blue, throbbing with excitement. Insides are goodies. So weird. So weird. Uh, anyway, uh, love this game. Hopefully you enjoyed the demo watching me play it. If you did, please hit that like button. If you enjoy content like this, make sure you subscribe so you uh, can see every single video that comes out. If you have uh, any comments on this game or any others you'd like to see me play, make sure you let me know down in the comments. And if you want to interact further with the Heronstein Bear community, you can click the link down in the description to get access to our member exclusive Discord, early access to the videos I post, and our highest tier of shout out in every single video, like Jacob Burns. Thank you so much, Jacob, for your continued support. To everyone else out there who's been liking, watching, commenting, and subscribing, thank you. And until next time, uh, I guess take a ride on the death limo train. See ya. <laughs>